Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, GitHub and Google Sheets. So the use case here is, whenever there is a new issue in GitHub, we want the information to go and get stored in Google Sheets in the form of new rows. First, let us know what these two software applications are all about. So GitHub is an open source platform where programmers and developers come together and create projects. Whereas Google Sheet is an online spreadsheet program. The problem here is that GitHub and Google Sheets don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect, a third party application software, which is going to help us to integrate both these two software applications. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you all this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google. And now I'm going to go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so now here we are at Pabli's website and now I'm going to go to this product section over here and I'll go to Pabli Connect. Okay, so now let us sign in. Okay, so now because I have already signed in, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I like to mention one more thing. Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. Okay, so now I'll scroll down and here at Connect, I'm going to select Access Now. Okay. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and now let us create a new workflow. So let us name it as GitHub to Google Sheets. Okay, so I'll create this. Okay, so this is the trigger dialog box over here when this happens. So here we have to choose an app. So here we want to integrate GitHub to Google Sheets using Pabli Connect. So first we are going to integrate GitHub to Pabli Connect and then we'll integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So first I'm going to choose GitHub over here. Okay, so in choose method, I am going to select issues. You can select the other method as well. And if you don't get the method of your choice while you're working on a new workflow, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. So now let us connect with GitHub. So I'm going to connect it. So let us authorize. Okay, so here I have to put the password. Okay, you don't have to worry about your data. It is 100% safe and secure. Okay, so now here are some fields. Owner is Ashirai, yes. Repository is this. I'll show you what is repository. So here you can see repository. If you want, you can also create a new repository. Repository is a place where your issues will go and get stored. Okay, so the owner name, you can see it is Ashirai123. That is why it is here like this. Okay, so now don't worry about the webhook URL. We'll just save and send test request. Okay, so this is the issue that was recorded last time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture webhook response and let us go and create a new issue in GitHub. So I'll come to GitHub. Okay, so we are here. So I'll go to my repository. Okay, here you can see issues. So now let us create a new issue. Okay, so I'm going to name it as GitHub to Google Sheets. Okay, so now in leave a comment, I'm going to write issue one. And let us submit new issue. Okay, so you can see we have created this issue over here. Now let's go to Pabli Connect and see if it has captured the data or not. So I'll go to Pabli Connect. So we have successfully integrated GitHub to Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to save this. So now we have finished our first step integration and now we'll begin with our second step integration. That is to integrate Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to add from here. Okay, so we have added an action step over here. So now I'm going to choose Google Sheets, this one. 
So in choose method, I want to add new row. That is why I have chosen this. You can select whichever method you want. And again, if you don't get the method of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pably.com. So now I'm going to connect with Google Sheets. Now, before connecting with Google Sheets here, let us go and create a new Google Sheets. So I'm going to open a new tab. Google Sheets. Okay. I'm going to create a blank spreadsheet. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this spreadsheet. Okay, so we have given a name to this spreadsheet. Now let us enter some fields over here. So first I'll put it as repository name. Okay, then I will add title. And after title, let us add description. Okay, after description, I'll add state, then event, issue, URL. Okay, so I have added these five fields over here. Okay, so now let's go to Pably Connect and then connect it with Google Sheets. So I'll go to Pably Connect and I'm going to connect with Google Sheets. So here you have to choose the account where you have made your Google Sheets. So I'll choose this one. Okay. So now I'm going to allow it. You don't have to worry about your data. It is 100% safe and secure. Okay. Okay. So you can see these empty fields. So now we are going to map the data. So spreadsheet, you can see the name of my spreadsheet was GitHub to Google Sheets. That is what it has got. It was sheet one. Correct. Now let us map all these data. So repository name, repository Okay, you can just write this one, repository name. Okay, title, let us get where is our title. It is this one. So in description, we are going to write the body that we wrote in GitHub issues. So let us search where is the body. Search Where is it? This one, issue one. We wrote this in our body. So that is what I have mapped here. So state, okay, this one, it is opened. Okay, so now in events issue URL, we are going to map it. So I'm going to search repository. Okay, so let us search where is this URL. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to select it. Okay, so now we are done with all the fields. Now let us save and send test request. Okay, so you can see we have got the API response. That means we have integrated Google Sheets with Pably Connect. Now I'm going to save it. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we'll go to Google Sheets and see if it has captured the data or not. So I'll go to Google Sheets. Okay, you can see we have got all the data over here. Repository name was Pably, title was GitHub to Google Sheets. Okay, description correct, state is correct and event issue URL is also here. So now we have successfully integrated GitHub with Google Sheets. Okay, so now let me show you this again with one more example so that you can understand how this process takes place in real time. So I'll go to GitHub. Okay, so now let's add a new issue over here. So I'll add. So let us name it as Pably Demo Testing. Okay, here I'll write issue 2 and let me submit the new issue. Okay, so we have made a new issue over here, Pably demo testing. Let's go to Google Sheets and see if it has got the data or not. So I'll go to Google Sheets and yes, we have got it. It was the same repository. Title is new, Pably demo testing. Description was issue two, state is opened and the URL is also here. So here, what would have happened? First, the information would have gone from GitHub to Pably Connect and then it would have gone from Pably Connect to Google Sheets. So now every time a new issue is added in GitHub, it will be added as new row in Google Sheets automatically. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using our Pably Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pably.com. Our team will help you to automate your workflows. You can also visit our website at www.pably.com. Thank you.